tell you this about God. He cares about nations. There's a realm of the prophecy that goes to nations, and God uses me in that, has used me extensively. As Bishop Michael was saying, in 2002, God said Nairobi will become a cosmopolitan, world class city. And I, I came back to Nairobi in 2004. It wasn't done yet. Then in 2007, I came and a revival broke loose in the city. And hundreds of thousands of people came to my meetings. Hundreds of thousands of people. One meeting, 1,000. Another meeting, 2,000. Another meeting, 3,000. Another meeting, 500. Another meeting, 5,000. Another meeting. And cumulatively, we counted over 300,000 people that came to my meetings in Nairobi. And this stupid devil tried to rise up his ugly head through some of his friends. Some of the devil's friends. And I hate to say some of them were preachers. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a story for another day. But God is God anyway. He never changes his mind about what he wants to do. So in 2007, the Lord showed me many visions and I began to prophesy about new superhighway. It wasn't there. New expressway, it wasn't there. Train lines across the country, trains going across the country, it wasn't there. Yes, uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, Westlands and towns being developed, beautiful things, uh, uh -huh. the malls and the expansion of, of, of the city. <laughs> the infrastructures in so many ways. <laughs> and let me tell you something. The devil wanted to cause violence. And he tried. But guess what? I was here. And I stopped it. I'll tell you the date. January 13th, 2008. At 7 o'clock p.m. At the Methodist Guest House in Lavington. I was on the platform and the hand of God fell on the meeting. And that's when the violence had been going on. Mass action and all these things. that were, they were People were killing each other over political and tribal differences and all that. And I stood in the pulpit and God said this. And I declared, I'll tell you my name again in case you forget, Thomas Manton IV, that's who it was, it was me. Yeah, and I stood on the platform and I hit my hand on the pulpit and I said, by the word of the Lord, I said this. Mass action will become mass nothing this week. That was Sunday night. January 13, 2008. At 7 p.m. January 6th, the Sunday before, we couldn't meet because the chaos was too much. Nobody could come out. And during the week, I said, no, I'm not going to stay in. We have to go out. People called me from America and said, Prophet, get out of there. Get out of Kenya. What are you doing there? And one of my friends in America said this. 
he, he said, I feel the Holy Spirit is telling me to tell you to leave there. I, I said, my brother, don't ever say the Holy Spirit said something he's not saying. He got, he got very afraid on the phone. And he said, well, I, I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm just concerned about you. I said, yeah, but don't say God said when he didn't say. I said, God has me right here for a reason. And if you remember, the city was closed. There were military in the streets. I drove around and saw them. It was, it was surreal. It was crazy. It was frightening to people. But I got to tell you this. By Thursday, five days later, everything stopped. Because God had a prophet to speak for him. We're saviors on Mount Zion. Can you say hallelujah? 1,300 people died. Over 600,000 people were displaced. From their places. But it could have been a hundred thousand people. Uh, yes? If it had not been stopped. So if God can use me like that, and, and no man can do anything like that. It's not possible. But if God can use me like that, he can also use you. Lift your hands right now. Such as I have, give I unto thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk in power.